Hi, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, three men were injured in a Chattanooga shooting last night. It happened around 8 p.m. on Wilson Street. All three were taken to the hospital, one of them with life-threatening injuries. Anyone with information is asked to call the police. The suspect arrested in the death of a three-year-old Saudi Daisy boy has committed suicide. Justin Bradley had recently been taken off suicide watch before he hanged himself with a bedsheet at the Hamilton County Jail. The 23-year-old had been charged with criminal homicide in the death of his girlfriend's son, Dakota Arndt. Police say he beat Dakota to death on August 27th. His preliminary court hearing would have been next week. JJ's Bohemia is closing down for two weeks after its beer permit was suspended. The bar could have remained open, but owner John Shoemaker says it will be closed during the suspension. The bar was cited for failing to have a working landline telephone, which is required for 911. It was also cited because the back door was locked, creating a potential fire hazard. JJ's Bohemia is set to reopen October 2nd. Officials say traffic will begin crossing the new Marion Bridge in November, if not before. The original Marion Memorial Bridge was built in the late 1920s. The project to replace it started in March 2011 and has cost more than $21 million. A demolition date hasn't yet been set for the old bridge. A woman was shot and killed inside a Ringgold home on Friday. It happened around noon at Smoke Tree Circle. Sheriff Gary Sisk says the woman who fired the weapon was an ex-girlfriend of the homeowner. The owner was away at work at the time. The ex-girlfriend, who had been living at the home, reportedly heard strange noises and called out twice but got no response. Then she picked up a gun. Investigators say they don't know what relationship the victim had to the others. Someone entered a neo-Nazi's home in Lafayette, Georgia and set it on fire. The suspect lit a mattress and two couches on fire and then ran away. The house belonged to white supremacist Walter Mack Waters Jr. Police say they aren't sure who the arsonist is. Up to $10,000 is offered to anyone with information. A woman found stabbed multiple times in the middle of the road in Chattanooga has been listed in stable condition. It happened around 3 a.m. September 18th on Cleveland Avenue. Anyone with information is asked to call the police. A 24-year-old man has died after nearly drowning in the pool at the Cleveland YMCA. John Pierce was taken to Sky Ridge Medical Center Wednesday and then transferred to a Chattanooga hospital where he died. Police say the drowning appears to be accidental. A man suffered life-threatening injuries after an aggravated assault at the Brainerd Walmart. Police say the victim suffered severe head trauma around 9 p.m. September 17th. No information has been released about the incident, and police have not identified the victim. A worker died on the job Thursday in an industrial accident in Dalton, Georgia. It happened at a factory owned by Marketing Alliance Group. Officials say the man was killed when a large industrial machine was being dismantled and moved. The victim worked for Spartan Industrial Contracting, which had been hired by LaRue Properties, which rents the space. The victim's name has not yet been released. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration is investigating. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 78 degrees. The low tonight will be around 51. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.